When active, you can get a signal directly underneath a daylight sensor, but not from the block that it's sitting on. They have two modes, daytime and nighttime. Nighttime is blue and daytime is yellow. Since you can change their modes by poking them, you can use them as an alternative lever, as long as you control the natural light that they're receiving. So in day mode, as long as they can sense the sunlight, they will be active. And in night mode, as long as some of the sunlight is blocked, they will also be active. So these two are active during the day because some of the sunlight is being blocked by the blocks above them. Daylight sensors only care about natural light, not artificial light. So to iterate this, we built some daylight sensors inside of this cave. If we block up the door, the one in day mode will turn off because it's no longer receiving any natural light. And the night mode will just always be on inside the cave. This is a good way to use them as an alternative lever since you will always be able to control the light underground. You can just poke it and it'll turn on when it's in night mode. The main thing that changes with daylight sensors is the signal strength based on the amount of natural sunlight. But we'll talk more about that in the next episode where we cover signal strength of the daylight sensors.